Welcome back to the news, everyone. It's that time of year again. Spring is only a month away. The holidays are over and you can smell it in the air. That's right, presidential mud slinging. In case you don't know what that is, that's where every candidate will pull out everything negative about their opponent and shy away from everything positive. That's what we're looking at today, folks. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney comes out swinging in the Florida debate while Newt Gingrich is returning fire, each trying to hold on to their front-runner position, trying not to fall victim to the mudslinging politics that has, well, taken down Herman Cain and recently jeopardized Ron Paul's bid for presidential election. I'm Chris Holler with IBN News, and we're here on the Republican presidential campaign trail to see well, who will be the next opponent to take on President Barack Obama to see who will be the next great president of the United States? Now, many times during a campaign or a debate, mudslinging is the topic. But we here at IBN News are asking, if our president is supposed to be the face of America, the role model for society, well, what kind of examples are the debates and the politics playing into our children today? In November of 2010 and July of 2011, we traveled to our nation's capital to do our part in making this world a better place. Not only for ourselves, but for all of mankind. We were inspired by our president, Barack Obama, who asked for anyone who had ideas to help improve our society to submit them. Not only did we want to submit them, we wanted to do it in person so that we could answer questions that anyone might have for us. So we did. We had the pleasure and enjoyment of meeting many congressmen and women. Along with many senators also. We were able to present the peace solution to over 50 of them at that time. We even had the privilege of meeting Malik Obama. Who also traveled from Kenya. To see what we had to say about how to bring peace to all of mankind. At this time, we have many who want to become our next president. And all of them say that character is an important part. But what are we doing to improve it? In fact, when we presented it to all the leaders in our nation's capital, everyone agreed that we needed to implement this program into our everyday lives. Starting with our schools. Yep, everyone said they love this program. We are the ones who have to live with the decision that you make for us today. We want a better world. We hear our leaders and presidential hopefuls speak about the character of others while being slandered themselves. Why are we doing this? Leading our cities, states, and country is no small task and is not taken lightly. Positive character is the most important thing a leader could stand for. What are we waiting for? We are here. We want to help you, our leaders, make our country a better place. To teach everyone the value of life. To put a stop to the unnecessary loss of life. Bullying. Substance abuse. School shootings. Wars. Child abuse. Mankind abuse. We all have value. I am valuable. 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 You and I. Please don't let our families, our nation, and our world fall apart. There is a way to teach peace to all of mankind. And we can do it. We spend billions of dollars. Billions, if not trillions. On wars. Can we not afford to at least try and teach peace? We have many reasons why we want to make this world a better place. Raising a child means more than to just train them to read and write. We want to train them to live. To live in peace with everyone. Regardless of the color of their skin. 
and where one is from. We want to help. We're willing to help. Please just give us an opportunity. Everyone said they loved this program, but no one called. Why? We have to live with the decisions that our leaders make for us today. We can make it a better place. We just need an opportunity to try. We want a better way of life for our children and our grandchildren. Peace is attainable. It's not beyond our reach. Mitt Romney. Rick Santorum. Newt Gingrich. Congressman Ron Paul. And President Barack Obama. We'd like all of you to start supporting character education today. Please ask your presidential nominee to support character education. For more information on the Peaceful Solution Character Education Program, you can go to our website at www.peacefulsolution.org or you can call us toll free at 1-888-613-9494. Let's all start supporting character education today.